as a songwriter and producer for a long time. I worked with Katie Tunstall, James Morris and Jamie Cullen. What gets me up in the morning is the privilege to work with new artists. It never ceases to amaze me how like, you know, music can be reinvented. Hey. hey, how are you doing? What we basically offer Emergent Assist is helping people from songwriting to production to mixing, mastering. Everybody needs help, but on a different level. Pendula is a good example. We had a song that had a lot of live instruments and listened to some Atmos mixes. And I was wondering if you could kind of create that just broadening of the space that I'd, I'd heard on other mixes. And, and I think it, it was an amazing uh, result that came out. It was like being put into the world of my song, Yellow Face, like immersing yourself with Dolby is that much more easier and everything just sound more rich. It was very like, in a way, cinematic. Like it was like I was inside the atmosphere that my song's been built off of. I was like almost surrounded inside. That was really amazing. Yellow Face was uh, the first track that we really put into Dolby Atmos in here. With the Dolby Atmos, we are able to move some creative boundaries. You have all this space and all of a sudden you can work with things in a different dynamics. And I think this is going to inspire down the line big time. For young artists, I think that it could mean that they actually start hearing sound uh, in, in, in a different way for the first time. There were like phrases and like even like little breaths of mine that felt that much more intimate. I feel like you could feel a lot more. That's why like Dolby was so amazing because I was like hearing progress. The message in the in the song, it's about racism, it's about uh, being an Asian uh, in, in, in this world and how people treat you. I could just hear that in Dolby Atmos in a way where it would become quite filmic and tell the story even better. That brought Martin in to have a listen and uh, he really loved it. We brought Hengela in to have a listen and she was blown away by it. She's taking her experiences coming from the perspective of a young Asian woman, mixing it up with music that comes from a traditional place and it becomes something new. It's very important to see, uh, for us to see people as who they are and uh, as the artists they are and, and what they have to offer. Get them to understand what Dolby Atmos is, start you know, getting musicians thinking around this new media and how that can be used. That's a really good benchmark for, for where creativity and Dolby Atmos can kind of really go together. Don't call me yellow face, call me one of you. This studio in particular, it was founded by a guy called Philip Baganel, who was a very open-minded, held a really kind of amazing space here for all kinds of artists through the years. You know, a lot of them came in as young emerging artists and then became some of the biggest artists that, you know, that we know in this country. We got to keep that that spirit alive and keep this these doors open for for new talent.